I am Rodrigo Duterte, I'm a Filipino. I love the Philippines because it is the land of my birth. It is the home of my people. And I hope that Congress could expedite its approval. I have committed to the main uh, rebellion fronts, the MI party men, that we will work uh, for a federal setup and maybe grant them the territories that they want and the kind of framework or governance that uh, they expect uh, with uh, a reformation of all the things in the Philippines. If we do not uh, act on it expeditious, expeditiously, uh, I think that we are headed for a trouble. We must continue to talk and we will urge Congress to fast track it because they are getting impatient. And uh, I told them of the wages of uh, how to negotiate peace. Sabi ko, sandali lang, but uh, we will com comply on our side what we have promised. Hey, that is a commitment, not even a promise, but a commitment to the Moro people. Thank you, sir. Mr. Akiko Suzuki of um, Asahi Shimbun. I miss, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Good evening. Good Paul. evening. <laughs> I'm Akiko from the Asahi Shimbun. Are you joining um, me to Japan now? Yes, of course. I'm following you every time. <laughs> yes. Um, on counter-terrorism, um, what was the lesson Philippine government learned after the Marawi incident? And are there anything that you can share with Prime Minister Abe? Also, um, about the reconstruction of Marawi, what do you expect? Uh, what kind of support do you expect from Japan? Thank you. I think uh, the damage alone and the, the dimension of uh, the destruction would tell uh, Japan that we need uh, uh, their very best in, in their assistance. And I do not doubt that uh, Japan can uh, graciously g give us the, the help that we, we, we... Of course, we do not uh, expect that Japan would solve all the problems for us. But a, I would see significant assistance, considering, I said, the dimension of the destruction. Uh, I am uh, hopeful that uh, we can improve on these things uh, periodically because we need really to rehabilitate Marawi. The failure to rehabilitate Marawi could, could have grave consequences for Mindanao and for the entire country. Can I have one more? One no more. more. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, for Japan, because I'm going there. I, oh, yeah. sorry. oh, sorry, it's about U.S. Um, you are expecting to meet, uh, have um, bilateral talks with uh, President Trump soon in November. And as yes. you know, uh, Prime Minister Abe is a good friend of Mr. Trump. Yes. Are you planning to ask any um, secret or, you know, how to deal with Mr. Trump and, you know, the, how to you know be make well, friends with <laughs> Mr. Trump? I, I would deal with uh, President Trump in the most righteous way. Welcome him as an important leader. As a matter of fact, the important leader uh, on the side of the planet, and uh, I would have to also listen to him what he has to say. My responses would be. Uh, calibrating of what he would ask me. But as a friend, I have not, have not met him personally, but uh, I see that, uh, I have noticed that we, we, we move our, our, our mouths in, in, in the same cadence. No? Uh, for example, like uh, declaring uh, a national emergency uh, regarding the drug uh, 
issue. But uh, the, 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 these are uh, on the level of uh, uh, a societal problem. It's not a problem of uh, uh, law and order. There are no warlords there. Uh, maybe illegal, illegal handguns, uh, very few, far and in between. Uh, not the kind of uh, the drug problem that we have here. That including mayors and uh, barangay captains are uh, affected heavily. So it would be terrorism, cooperation between the two countries, the fight against drugs, and all of this I said, uh, expect uh, to be dealing with him around these uh, topics. Thank you, sir. And of course, may, I forgot the main, what the opening uh, agenda would really be Korea. Uh, uh, we are worried, all of us, that, uh, you know, Murphy's law, if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. So that has always been a problem for us. You, you uh, want to talk that with Mr. Trump or Mr. Abe, Mr. Trump, or yeah, both maybe? <laughs> yes, uh, I'm sure that we can agree. The three of us have talked to Trump over uh, the electronic waves. I have uh, personally talked to min, uh, min, uh, Minister Abe. So uh, I, I, I said that uh, a lot of those things would uh, occupy a good space of our meetings. Thank you, sir. Sino pa? David Santos, CNN. Kung... Parang naubos na ang kalaban, ha? Pwede ikaw. <laughs> Meron pa pong isa. Kahabol uh -huh. mamaya. Ah, si Regalado. Miss Regalado, after David. Sir, mayang gabi, sir. David Santos po, sir. Mayor, um, uh, now that the Marawi crisis has ended, no, and uh, moving forward, of course, as you mentioned earlier, there are many lessons to be learned. And there are sectors now, uh, cost-oriented groups, as well as some residents, uh, calling, uh, siguro, as part of the closure for this, to call for an, uh, a deeper probe, uh, a congressional probe, perhaps, to look into what really happened, why it happened, and the government's response. Uh, your reaction, your thoughts on this, po muna, Mayor? Well, I can only... Uh answer you in the sphere of my environment and it would be the executive department and for the armed forces and the police uh, to study very carefully how it evolved and uh, how to fight a new war mm -hmm. because usually it is an urban terrorism and you are, you are up against concrete and iron. That's why in, it is a, a universal uh, fact that uh, in the Middle East, it uh, took them one year, two years to do it. It's because uh, there is always a, a high-rise building where you can position yourself uh, comfortably while waiting for the kill. And... Uh, uh, I said uh, in penetrating uh, a lot of uh, almost indestructible uh, cover. Right. Yan ang bago. On the side of uh, the civilian sector, it's always, uh, I said Monday after I, have, I shall have talked to the cabinet, uh, Secretary Rocky would for you. Uh, we are uh, about to do something uh, uh, in the faster uh, alley. My second question po, uh, Mayor. Um, well, some residents perhaps uh, overwhelmed by the devastation as a result of this uh, five-month conflict uh, are floating the idea, again, with emphasis, some residents lang, uh, Mayor, of suing the government, of filing a class suit against the government, supposedly for um, converting the city into a wasteland as a result of this fighting. Your thoughts on this? Yes, uh, it's uh, well within the rights to do that. I agree with you that if you have a gripe and you think that justice uh, 
should be done. Uh, and if they think that the Philippine courts should be prejudiced or biased, they can always go to the International Criminal Court. But let me answer you here and now that I declared martial law to answer the challenges of the moment and I take full legal, criminal, and civil liability. Ako yun. I hold myself solely responsible for what happened, including uh, what the things that the incidents, that, that, uh, the events that transpired. Sabi ko, uh, I take full responsibility for all. Thank you, Mayor. Salamat. Mr. Regalado. You will you'll be happy to see me in prison? Uh, 